Here's the field for the first as they prayed behind Kathy McDonald, number one, Nick Gennaro, owned by LMN Bread Stables, driven by Mitchell Nall, 2SF Satellite, owned by Sean Barker, and the driver is Jack Daly, three has been scratched, four, Margo's MVP, owned by William Miller the second with Jeff Smith aboard, five, he's a Modokin, owned by Merle Moore with Dave Hawk in the bike, six, Eddie's Alibi, owned by Ron Barker with Justin Hall, seven, KG's Gravitate, Owned and driven by Tom Lovely, 8, TDF Baskin. Owned by Michael Pointer with David Miller. Number 9, Butkus Mayo. Owned by Scott Sautel with Rick Dingle, Dine, 10, Uncle Will Goddard. Owned by Francis Hammond, Keith Haynes will be in the sulky. Field for the first, scratch the three. Second race, scratch five, novel star, five till post. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Butkus Mayo on the far outside of the front. Margot's MVP between horses. Nick Gennaro along the rail. They're down the back stretch. He's a Moe Dockin behind the dueling trio to fourth. As they make their way to the top turn, SF Satellite. Fought up on the outside by TDF Baskin. As they move to the quarter mile pole. Out of the second tier, Uncle Will Goddard. Eddie's alibi and KG's gravitate in 28 and 2. Speeding past the stands to the half mile pole. Margo's MVP quickly gets the lead. The outer tier forms here. He's a Modoc and up on the outside with SF Satellite. Nick Gennaro along the rail. Underway from the outside, TDF Baskin. Butkus Mayo, who tried to leave, took the duck and tuck and got shuffled back. Ranging up on the outside, Uncle Will Goddard. As they move to the half-mile pole, Eddie's alibi, and the trailer remains KG's gravitate in a solid 58 up the backstretch. He's a Modokin doing just that on the front end. He's a Modokin by two. Margo's MVP, second ahead, TDF Baskin, three deep on the far outside, an SF satellite. Nick Gennaro off the rail, up the rail, Butkus Mayo, far outside, Uncle Will Goddard. KG's gravitate and Eddie's alibi. Racing by three quarters, a little bit rough on the outside, taking over command, TDF Baskin, 127 and two. Moving around the far turn, TDF Baskin has got the racetrack, opens up two lengths of daylight. Fouled on the rail by He's a Modoc, and after that, Margot's MVP. The nine still looks for racing room, Butkus Mayo. Racing through the stretch, TDF Baskin. He's a Modoc in second, along the rail, Butkus Mayo coming on third. Result of the first now official, 8.5 exact to $20.40. Trifecta, $100.20. Windows are now up and on tonight's second race. Post time in 13 minutes at 7.52. Scratch five, novel star, scratch the five. Here comes the field for tonight's second race. Number one, come on, Baltic Song. Owned by Dorothy Christie and Suzanne Norfless, David Miller drives. Two, Stormy Wiz, over the White Creek Stable with David Myers. Three is Fayette, owned by David Morgan with Jack Morgan, the Rainsman. Four, Mr. Snowshoes, owned by Peter and Gail McCann, Jeff Foutabor. Five, Novel Star, Scratched, Injured. Six, Bone Road, owned by Bill Ferris with Jeff Smith. Seven is 60 something. Owned by Ray Curtis, Charles Mitchell, and Daryl Kirby, driven by Don Feaster. Eight is active. Lindy, owned by Tommy Clemens, with Jim Daly, nine Gates Forever. Owned by Dot Morgan, with Charlie Morgan, ten Laddies Dow. Owned by Mabel Fisher, trained by Tim Fisher, driver Jack Daly. Six till post. And there they go. 
They're off and trotting Gates forever on the far outside. Easily takes the lead. Nine hole, no problem, right to come at. Here comes Active Lindy trotting up on the far outside. 60-something between horses. Followed by Fayette in fourth and Stormy Wiz to the turn. Come on, Baltic Song. Mr. Snowshoes up on the outside. Laddie's Dow and the trailer on the outside. Bone Robe has the one. Come on, Baltic Song is off stride. They open up here in 29 seconds flat, racing past the stands to the half mile pole. Gates Forever could take a lot of beating from here. Gates Forever trots clear by two and a half. Active Lindy is in the second, 60 something along the rail. Ranging up on the outside, Stormy Wiz. Around the paddock turn, Fayette. Out and moving, Mr. Snowshoes as they trot through the paddock turn. A gap of two lengths to the outside as they hit the half mile pole, Bone Road. Next in line, Laddie's Dow. And the trailer off stride again, come on, Baltic Song in a minute and one fifth. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Gates Forever has opened up three lengths. Stormy Wiz, the danger on the outside, second. Dropping back along the rail, active Lindy to third. Far outside, Laddie's Dow with a rush. Mr. Snowshoes in the center toward the rail, 60 something. Far outside, Bone Road, Fayette. And come on, Baltic Song as they trot by three quarters. 131, moving around the far turn. Gates forever on top. Stormy Wiz alongside. Laddie's Dow trotting up on the far outside along the rail. Mr. Snowshoes as the field straightens away. Stormy Wiz takes over. Gates forever along the rail. Here's Laddie's Dow closing down the middle of the racetrack. Stormy Wiz. Laddie's Dow late kick on the rail for 60 something. Stormy Wiz in front. Here comes Stormy Wiz, three-year-old Bay Colt by Harmonious. Out of Speedy Bar, owned by Bill White's White Creek Stable of Palm Beach Garden, Florida, trained by Ron Potter. Driven by David Myers and the honorary equine maintenance engineer, Mr. Bruce Soulsby. <laughs> time of the mile was 2.01 and 3. The mile time, 2.01 and 3. Waiting for the official as 760 something got up third. It's now official. Third race, six Adorable Dawn, racing on LASIK, scratch nine, Lady Nuclear. Top down. Here's the field one, Nuke Skylark, David Miller. Two, Gifted Debutante, Dan Ader. Three, Sissy's Girl, Lance Wigan. Four, Grimke, Steve Carter will be aboard. Here's the five, Attitude with Brad Hanners. Six, Adorable Dawn is not scratched. She is racing on Lasix for Sandy Beatty. Seven, Christy Stormcat with Jim Daly. Eight, Finally Friday, driven by Jack Daly. Number nine, Lady Nuclear has been scratched. Ten, Absolute Sage, Jeff Fout in the sulky. The six is racing. She is on Lasix. Disregard what was on the crawl the last ten minutes. And there they go. They're off and pacing Grimke. And now on the outside, here comes Attitude for the lead. Ranging up on the far outside, Christy Stormcat and the Roan gifted debutante. Favorite on the rail, Nuke Skylark. Real slugfest in here to the quarter mile pole. Absolute Sage after that, Sissy's Girl. Followed by Adorable Dawn. And finally, Friday rides a tailgate. As they race by the opening quarter here, it's going to be a quick one. There it is, 27 and 3. Racing past the stands to the half mile pole. Moving away on top, Steve Carter and Grimke by two. Christy Stormcat settles in there, second attitude, kicks on third. Gifted debutante fourth, Nuke Skylark is fifth. Starting up on the outside, Absolute Sage toward the rail, Sissy Girl. Under urging from Sandy Beatty, Adorable Dawn. And at the end, the trailer remains a long shot. Finally, Friday, reaching the halfway point in a good 58 seconds flat. Outer tier quickly forms. Gifted debutante, and she takes Nuke Skylark with her. Gifted debutante rolls to command. Gifted debutante draws off by two. 
Nuke Skylark is on the attack. Second, Grimke gives way. Here comes Absolute Sage driving up on the outside, and Christy Stormcat got caught. Adorable Dawn added to the early lever. Far outside, finally Friday and Sissy's Girl. Moving by three quarters in a lively 128 and one. Moving around the far turn. Gifted debutante right alongside Nuke Skylark at the rail. Grimkey up on the outside, Absolute Sage. Field straightens away. Gifted debutante. Nuke Skylark closing quickly down the riddle of the racetrack. Is she good enough? Gifted debutante going the better of the two. Gifted debutante, Nuke Skylark, Grimkey, and Absolute Sage was four. But on the fourth, scratch four, whispering 06, scratch four, whispering 06. Fifth race, no changes, sixth is clear. Seventh race, the only other change, scratch seven, little red like carry. Quick post, it's 13 minutes away at 8.30. Here comes the field for tonight's fourth race. Start of the early pick three. Number one is Solare, owned by Pain Creek Farms, driven by David Miller. Two, Nuclear Rhythm, owned by William Holly, driven by Jeff Fout. Three, Lauren, 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 owned by Cheryl Van Shake and driver Sandy Beatty. Four, Whispering Low has been scratched. Number five is Samando, owned by Vincent Rakestraw, Greg Radoski, and Vincent Miller with Brad Hanners in the bike. Number six is Sunny and Mild, owned by John Maloon, driven by David Myers. Seven is Kate Town, owned by Melvin Richmond, driven by Brian Barnes. Eight, Call Me Sweets, owned by Robert Reynolds, and the driver is Darren Mauser. Nine, Abe's Delight, owned by ACA Stable. Mark Winters will be in the sulky. Field for tonight's fourth race. Scratch number four, Whispering Low, five minutes till post. Field is now in motion. And there they go, off and pacing, Solare quickly on the rail, nuclear rhythm between horses. Driving up on the far outside, Call Me Sweets there down the backstretch with Samanda. Late lever on the far outside, Abe's Delight, Sunny and Mild. Followed up on the extreme outside by Kate Town and at the end, the early trailer is Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. They're speeding to the quarter mile pole and the one has just gone on the run, Solare is off stride. Racing by the opening quarter in a quick 28. Seconds flat, racing past the stands to the half mile pole. 99 to one shot, leads the way, it's Call Me Sweets on top. Nuclear Rhythm picks up the chase and blows right to the lead. Nuclear Rhythm easily takes over from Call Me Sweets. After that, it's the even money favorite, Samanda, as they hit the half mile pole. A gap of two lengths along the rail. Sunny and mild, and after that comes Abe's Delight reaching the half in 58 and 1. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Nuclear Rhythm continues to lead the way. Samanda, first the flush, coming with a rush. Followed by Call Me Sweets dropping back to bit third. Abe's Delight is up on the outside. Sunny and mild begins to kick in. After that comes Cape Town, gap of five. Lauren, 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 and so Larry. As they race by three quarters, Samanda on the outside of Nuclear Rhythm, heads apart for command, 128. Flying around the far turn. From the outside, Samanda gets the lead, three parts of a length. Nuclear Rhythm is in the second, Call Me Sweets in third. Here's Sunny and Mild up on the outside. Kate Town on the far outside as the field straightens away. The favorite's the one to chase down Samanda, but here comes a host of challengers. And Kate Town on the far outside now gets the lead. Kate Town and Sunny and Mild. Kate Town getting up.
Here comes the unofficial winner, Seven Kate Town. Two-year-old Bay Philly by Big Towner out of Katie Did Hanover. One in Daleville, Indiana by Melvin Richmond, trained by Harold Barnes, driven tonight by Brian Barnes. Covering the mile in 159 and establishing a lifetime best. The winner of the fourth, seven, Kate Town. Seven six exact at two hundred forty-nine dollars and sixty cents, two forty-nine sixty. Windows are open on the fifth. No changes in the fifth. Seventh race, scratch seven, little red like carry. Post time will be at 849, and that is the only change in the balance of the program. 6,700 in tonight's twin trifecta carryover. Abe's Delight was sixth. 874. Scratch three, two, one, five, six, and the time of the mile was 159. Here comes the field for tonight's fifth race as they pray to the post. First half of the twin trifectum. 6,700 in the carryover. Number one, King Kelleher. Owned by Brent Davis, David Hawk drives. Two hand over the loop. Owned by Michael Wise. And the driver is David Myers, three, Dusty Gill. Owned by Iris Horowitz, dri driven by Debbie Rucker. Number four, Paid the Price, owned by Sharon Beeman with Mike Wilson. Five, B.J. Hustle, owned by Sue Stetson and Richard Flanders. Six, B. Final, owned by Robert Stuckey, and the driver is Marissa Smith. Seven is Verbal Oxy, owned by Martin Fisher with Charlie Little. Eight is Blessed Bets, owned by Dana and Sherry Idens with David Miller. Number nine is Miss Q, owned by Richard and Joyce McClellan with Dave Rankin. Ten, Laddie's Blue Boy, owned by Leonard Cooper. Darren Mauser will be in the sulky. That is the field for the fifth race, 6,700 in the twin track. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Way to a good start. B.J. Hustle between horses takes the lead. Paid the price in King Kelleher with a rush. Here's Verbal Oxy up on the far outside. They're down the back stretch of the three is on the run, Dusty Gill. Scramble Royal here. King Kelleher tries to put him in holes and is going to do so as they move to the top turn. Paid the price, settles in there second. After that, it's hand over the loot third. Ranging up on the outside. Verbal Oxy there by the opening quarter in 28 and two fifths. Trotting past the stands to the half mile pole. Out on top, it's King Kelleher who leads the way. King Kelleher on top, paid the price, second hand over the loot, third. Next in line comes B.J. Hustle, fourth. Miss Q is up on the outside as they swing around the paddock turn. Trotting clear by a length and a half in the front end, it's King Kelleher. King Kelleher paid the price, second. Hand over the loot, moving up on the outside, third. Miss Q coming on, fourth. B.J. Hustle, fifth. Laddie's Blue Boy is up on the outside. B final stays in along the rail. Dusty Gill, blessed bets, and off stride. That was Verbal Oxy. The half a minute and one fifth. Nine are hub to hub, heading to three quarters. King Kelleher and hand over the loot. Along the rail, paid the price, trotting up on the outside. Miss Q to fourth. The Rones are next. Laddie's Blue Boy and BJ Hustle. Along the rail, B final. Moving up on the outside again. Dusty Gill, blessed bets, and at the end, Verbal Oxy. One thirty and one. Favorites are heads apart as they straighten away. Hand over the loot now gets the short lead. David Hawk draws the left-handed whip and is all over King Kelleher. Here's Miss Q up on the far outside, trotting through the stretch. It's hand over the loot. Miss Q in the center with a rush in the back and jumping off stride. That was B final wide open here. It's Miss Q, BJ Hustle with Laddie's Blue Boy up on the outside.
for tonight's sixth race as we start the second half of tonight's 10-race program. One, Ricky's Flo and Alley. Owned by Mark and Ricky Williams, driven by Brad Hanners. Two, Nuclear Eclipse, owned by Scoville Help with David Miller. Three, Atlanta Brave, owned by Craig Langston and Ryan Holton. Four, Gunboat Diplomacy, owned by Gerald Woodard and driver is Jeff Smith. Five on the beam, Sam. Owned by Alex Spence Jr. and Dave Hawk will be in the bike. Six, Bruzz, owned by Richard Mabra and Michael Colvin, driven by Rocky Stidham. Seven, JL Dusty, owned by Clarence along with David Myers. Eight, Optimism is Bored. Owned by Jim Erledge and John Rhodes Jr. with Jeff Fout, Nine, Cruz and Jimmy. Owned by Sterling Akers, Gina Holloway and Tim Carsey. Bob Harper will be in the sulky. Six minutes till post time. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing on the beam. Sam between horses takes the lead. Nuclear Eclipse toward the rail. Bruz is up on the outside. Further out, Optimism is bored. A little bit rough in the middle of the racetrack. That was Bruz. Bruz very wide to the far outside and has jumped off stride as the field moves to the opening quarter mile pole. Nearest the rail, it's on the beam. Sam on top by an easy length and a half. As they move by this opening quarter mile in, 28 and 2, jumping off stride. Further back in the field on the outside, looks like Jeff Fudd and Optimism is bored. Here comes the favorite to brush to the lead. Nuclear Eclipse is there. On the beam, Sam moves in to be second. Ricky Flo and Alley third. Gunboat Diplomacy fourth. Atlanta Brave out of the bullpen, drives up on the outside. JL Dustio. As they make their way to the half mile pole, Cruz and Jimmy Optimism is bored and bruzz. The purple and white will take them past the half. It's an eclipse there in 58. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Bouncing right along its nuclear eclipse. The white hood belongs to on the beam. Sam in second. Being carted up on the outside. Atlanta Brave to third. Here's J.L. Dustio catching live cover, leaving the 5 8 Along the rail, Ricky's flowing alley, moving up on the outside. Gunboat diplomacy cruising. Jimmy Bruzz on the rail. Optimism is bored, ninth on the outside, charging by three quarters in 127 around the far turn. Nuclear Eclipse is there by two. On the beam, Sam second. Ricky's Flo and Alley fighting back on a ground saving journey. Off the turn in the stretch, they're on their way home. It's a full eclipse. Nuclear Eclipse is there by a widening three. Followed by on the beam, Sam in second. Ricky's Flo and Alley third, jogging to victory. Nuclear Eclipse. On the beam, Sam, second one, Ricky's Flo and Alley, third, 155. Nuclear Eclipse, three-year-old Bay Cope by Nuclear Age out of Ravens Misty, owned in Seymour, Indiana by Scoville Health, trained by Stacy Ruddick, driven tonight by David Miller to cover the mile in 155 and establish a lifetime best. Number two, Nuclear Eclipse, the winner of the sixth. Seventh race, scratch number seven, Little Red Like Carry. That's the only change on the balance of the program. Two, five, exact $11. The try, $48.40. Two out of three in the pick three, $73.60. Sam second, Bruz eighth, JL Dusty O sixth, Optimism is bored. Here comes the field for tonight's seventh race. Number one, Lot of Revenue, owned by Chip Noble and J.D. Burnett, driven by Jeff Fout. Two, Gotta Go Kathy, owned by Richard Ferguson with Ryan Holton. Number three is Noble Little Bit, owned by Ken and Marianne Glispie, and the driver is Dean Glispie for Manhattan Madam. Owned by Bob Lungo, Darren Melzer aboard five, Humming Strings. Owned by John Rogers and Mike Stearns with Rocky Stidham, six, Where's the Caddy? Owned by William N. Juanita Dunham and Bob Harper. Seven has been scratched. Eight is Awful Nice. Owned and driven by Perry Lambert. Nine, Katrina Wick. Owned by driver Mark Klotz and David Bassler. Ten, Carousel Rhythm. Owned by George Young Jr. and Robert Young. David Miller will be in the sulky. Scratch number seven, Little Red Like Kerry. Five minutes till post. Field is now in motion, and there they go. They're off and pacing, Katarina Wick on the far outside, awful nice between horses, Noble a little bit, and along the rail, a lot of revenue there down the back stretch. 
Carousel Rhythm is up on the outside. Speeding along the rail, go Kathy, go on the far outside. Manhattan Madam humming strings. And where's the caddy? They're really slugging this one out as they drive with a quarter mile pole. Out on top, it's Lotta Revenue by an easy length and a half. Speeding by the opening quarter in 27 and 3 fifths. Racing past the stands to the half mile pole. Nearest the rail, it's Lotta Revenue by a half a length. Catherine Wick is up on the outside, second. Along the rail, Awful Nice is in the third. Here's Carousel Rhythm up on the outside along the rail. Noble little bit. Tipping and rolling, that's Go Kathy Go. Also joining the fray, Manhattan Madam on the outside. Saving ground every step, humming strings, and at the end it's Where's the Caddy? They're at the half in 57 and 2. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Carousel Rhythm driving four horses deep. Is up to challenge. Lot of revenue for the lead. It's Lot of Revenue by a half a length. Right alongside in second. Carousel Rhythm. Can she go on? Next wave of challengers is led by Manhattan. Met him on the extreme outside. Go, Kathy, go. Off the pylons, awful nice. After that, Noble Little Bit moving up on the outside. Where's the caddy? Humming Strings has got plenty of kick and nowhere to go. And the tough mile took its toll on Katarina Wick in 127 and 4. We're down to eight as they make their way to the top of the stretch. Manhattan, Madam, now gets the lead. Go, Kathy, go is up on the far outside, racing through the stretch. It's Manhattan, Madam, humming strings just got loose. Manhattan, Madam, humming strings, jumping off stride nearest the rail. Manhattan, Madam, here comes humming strings to get it. Here's the winner of tonight's seventh race, Humming Strings. Four-year-old bay mare by Precious Bunny out of Stradivarius. Owned by John Rogers and Mike Stearns of Columbus. Trained by Rocky Stidham. Rocky drives her to her second victory in a row. Covering the mound, 158 and 2-5, Humming Strings. Here comes the field for race eight, start of the final pick three, no changes in the eighth. Number one, White Wall Crown, owned by Warren Holland, driven by Jeff Smith. Two bands, Pans Vestite, owned by Fred Merriman and Jerry Kutchback Jr. Three coming success, owned by Dennis and Larry Shaner with Jeff Fout. Four over Mystified, owned by driver Willard Miller and Alan Besco. Five Peppercorn, owned by Pamela and David Hanauer, David Miller is in the bike. Six is Admiral Sealster, owned by Sam Bowie with Mike Zeller. Seven, Solitaire Ranger, leased by Harold Barnes. Brian Barnes will drive. Number eight is Hill Topper's Grace, owned by John F. and John J. Foster with David Hawk. Nine, J.L. Kirkland, owned by Valerie Schof and Joe D. Schof will drive. Ten, Kaz Hanover, owned by Thomas Erickson. Dick Richardson, Jr. will be in the sulking. Trotters for the eighth, no changes in the final pick three. Jug preview Saturday night. Starting gate is underway. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Hilltoppers, Grace on the far outside, takes the lead. Middle racetrack, over Mystified is in the second, and White Wall Crown third. Very wide on the far outside, Solitaire Ranger, and he has now gone off stride. Solitaire Ranger is on a break. Moving to the quarter mile pole, Hilltoppers, Grace is there by two. White Wall Crown is in the second, over Mystified third, gap of four. Pans Vestite ranging up on the outside, Kaz Hanover. After that come coming success, Peppercorn, Admiral Sealster, J.L. Kirkland, and the Breakers, Solitaire Ranger, a quick 28 and 4, racing past the stands to the half mile pole. Hilltoppers Grace out on top at a big price of 17 to 1. 
Hilltoppers, Grace in the Chestnut, White Wall Crown over Mystified Attacks, coming first over from third. Sweeping up on the outside from out of the second tier, Kaz Hanover. Here comes Pan's Vestite, saving ground to fifth. Coming success, Peppercorn along the rail. Ranging up on the outside, Admiral Sealster, J.L. Kirkland. And the trailer is still Solitaire Ranger, 59 and 1. Trotting down the back stretch to three quarters. Hilltoppers Grace continues to lead the way. Over Mystified in second, Kaz Hanover third. Very wide Admiral Sealster as they race by three quarters. Hilltoppers Grace, Kaz Hanover, White Wall Crown, and Over Mystified all together. 129. Field moves to the head of the stretch, absolutely wide open. Hilltoppers Grace trying to make every pull a winning one. Kaz Hanover still on the outside. Admiral Sealster's got three to make up. Floating off the pylons, White Wall Crown, they're into the stretch. Kaz Hanover on the outside, nearest the rail, Hilltoppers Grace, ranging up on the outside, Admiral Sealster driving, finish, Kaz Hanover gets up. Here comes the unofficial winner of race number eight, number 10, Kaz Hanover. Three-year-old Bay Coat by Super Bowl out of Cosmic Storm. Owned in Sweden by Thomas Erickson, driven and trained by Dick Richardson Jr. Covering the mile here in 159 and 2. Number 10, Kaz Hanover, the winner. Windows are now up and on race 9. 10 8 exact at $354.20. 354 20 Trifecta 24 65 20 24 65 20 Post time at 10.06. Next post, Here's a field for race nine, one flight in action. Owned by Everett and Chad Clark. Chad Clark drives, two pan it up. Owned by Scott Glendon, Mark Ader with Dan Ader. Three is Moonbeam Rays. Owned by Robert Del Bianco and David Myers. Four, Marching Tune. Owned by George Young Jr. and Robert Young with David Miller. Five is Polaris Parkway. Owned by Florence Lenahan with Jeff Fout. Six, Sweet and Dandy, owned by Alvin and Neil Long and Kiri and Farm with Brad Hanner, Seven, Senor Sam. Owned by Wilbur Sindel and Patsy Rowe with Ryan Holton, Eight, Peck-a-Punch. Owned by Edwin Cook with Richard Cook, Nine, Rambo Robbie. Owned by Thomas Ryan with David Hawk, Ten, Todd's Rays. Owned by Charlie Little, Darren Mauser will be in the sulky. No changes in the ninth, line that was announced for... Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Rambo, Robbie on the far outside. Marching tune between horses. The newcomer flight in action along the rail. Rambo, Robbie a little bit rough on the outside. Here comes Polaris Parkway with a rush. Polaris Parkway between horses gets the lead. Rambo, Robbie is up on the outside. Second. Sitting in the pocket early on. Marching tune to third. Followed by Flight in Action, Pan it Up. Followed by David Myers and Moonbeam Rays. Out of the second tier, Todd's Rays. Sweet and Dandy, Senior Sam and Pack-a-Punch. 27 and three. Racing past the stands, Polaris Parkway is out on top. Marching Tune is in the second, Rambo Robbie third. Flight in Action fourth, Pan it Up. Drives up on the outside and Moonbeam Rays will follow him. Here comes Todd Ray, some out of the second tier, Sweet and Dandy, the senior, and pack a punch. Four in, six out, they're at the half in 58 and one. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Pan it up, up on the outside, nearest the rail, Polaris Parkway. 
Staying in the pocket, third, marching, two, and he'll wait for the passing lane. Here's Moonbeam Rays underway, followed up on the outside by Todd's Rays. The early pace setter, Rambo Robbie, followed by the rail horse, Flight in Action. Sweet and Dandy, Senior Sam and Pack a Punch, racing by three quarters and 127 and one. Moving around the far turn, Polaris Parkway is back on top, Pan it up, gives way. Marching tune, cock. Locked and ready to rock it. Here's Moonbeam Rays up on the far outside. They're at the head of the stretch. Polaris Parkway brings them home. Marching tune, ready to engulf them. Here comes Sweet and Dandy with a rush. Polaris Parkway marching tune and pan it up. Driving finish. Whoa, it's tight. We'll call the five over the four. Polaris Parkway and marching tune. It's official. Here comes the winner of race nine. Number five, Polaris Parkway, a five-year-old bay horse by J.J. Citation out of Mary Louvine. Owned in Columbus by Florence Lenahan, trained by Jim Arledge Jr., driven wire to wire by Jeff Fout to cover the mile in 156 and two. Five, Polaris Parkway, the winner of the ninth. Tenth, Todd's Rays was eighth. Six, three, four, two, one, seven, nine, five, ten, eight on the bottom and the mile 156 and three. Kathy McDonald brings the field out onto the track for tonight's 10th and final race with Superfecta wagering number one CC Big Guy Braxton. Owned by Sheila Collins, driven by Jeff Fout, two a league of his own. Owned by Michael and Thomas Colvin with David Miller. Number three, Mr. Bojack, owned by Richard Brooks with Brad Hanners for one step at a time. Owned by Connie Peterman and the driver is Darren Mauser, five blind vengeance. Owned by Jeff Gibson with Greg Luther, six Thunder O. Owned by Everett and Chad Clark with Chad Clark driving number seven, Ton of Bricks. Owned by Dennis Wyrock with Steve Boroff. Eight, Trustee Hanover. Owned by Brent Davis with David Hawk. Nine, Mostly Jazz. Owned and driven by Perry Lambert. Ten, Mr. Precious. Owned and driven by Ralph Lunsford. That is the field here for tonight's 10th race. No changes. Post time in five minutes. Clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. CC Big Guy Braxton takes the lead one step at a time between horses. Here's Trusty Hanover up on the outside. Ton of bricks on the far outside in a league of his own along the rail. Out of the second tier, Mr. Precious. Here's mostly Jazz, the late lever. Mr. Bojack, Blind Vengeance, and the trailer is Thunder O. Driving for command of the quarter mile. Paul the Hawkman is out on top. Trusty Hanover in a trusty 27 and 2. Racing past the stands to the half mile, Paul. Trusty Hanover's got the top. CC Big Guy Braxton second. Here's one step at a time. Parked and driving on the outside. Tunner Bricks will move with him. A league of his own, the fifth in box, ranging up on the outside, Mr. Bojack. The ten is next along the rail, Mr. Precious. Next three are all heads apart. Blind Vendance nearest the rail, moving off from between horses. Mostly Jazz, moving up on the far outside. Thunder Row, they're at the half, 57 and 2. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. A little bit of confusion further back in the field as one step at a time. Quickly moves backwards, they're off the 5-8. Trusty Hanover leads the way. Driving up on the outside, a league of his own. Second CC, big guy Braxton third. Mr. Bojack and Mr. Precious along the rail. Here's Thunder O closing in, blind vengeance on the far outside. Ton of bricks, gap of three to one step at a time. Far outside, mostly jazz, 126 and two. Field straightens away. A league of his own on the outside. Trusty Hanover along the rail. Racing through the stretch. Trusty Hanover. Late kick for the one CC big guy Braxton. Trusty Hanover. The Schneid is over. Trusty Hanover. CC big guy Braxton. A league of his own and Thunder O was fourth. By Kentucky Spur out of Tropical Hanover. 
Owned in Zanesville by Brent Davis. Trained by R. Mac Davis. Wire to wire driver Dave Hawk. Covering the mound a lifetime best 155 and 1. Number 8 trustee Hanover. The unofficial winner of tonight's 10th and final race. Result of race 10 is now official. Exact the And the mile was 155 and 1. That'll do it for tonight. On behalf of the staff and management.